Aspen Pharmacare, 19% owned by Britain's GlaxoSmithKline, completed the acquisition of the generic business of Australia's Sigma Pharmaceuticals last year, boosting its presence in the region. The company also reached an agreement with the minority shareholders of its East Africa-focused unit, Shelley's, to buy their 40% holding for $24 million. Well, gentlemen, let's chat about Aspen. Phil, your thoughts? The stock has done incredibly well, often the best-performing stock on the top 40 on the JSE All Share. Can it maintain its good performance? Yeah, Bronwyn, I think that's um, exactly the point. Um, it's a stock that's done 38% per annum in share price performance since it listed in, in July 1998. Uh, it's a stock that we held, uh, have held for quite some time. Um, and it's certainly a stock that I think is very well ge geographically diversified around the world, um, which probably makes the big difference between the other two stocks that we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, we like the growth opportunities in Latin America. Um, we certainly think that's where the growth is to come. And yes, so to answer your question, I think there is plenty more growth to come from Aspen. Do you like the acquisition of Sigma Pharmaceuticals? Just the same as Phil. We have uh, you know, a niche asset management business and you know, we have about 12 or 13% of client assets in that stock. It's been one of our favorites. If you're a all growth along, manager, blah, blah, you blah, blah, would blah. expect you should be squarely exactly. in buying them last Aspen. week what is the price who cares high pe but i mean really they have delivered and this australian thing most recently as you mentioned in your intro has been such a great win because they really did uh, take over a business that was in quite a parlous situation people were worried about what they paid for it but they stripped out costs incredibly and it really did save their bums in this particular reporting period because as phil intimated the local business not doing as well as people hoped at 113 rand Paul says, don't worry about PE, don't worry if the stock appears um, expensive, dive in boots and all. Do you agree? I do agree in that we, we want Aspen in our portfolios. I think what generally happens with Aspen is prior to results, the share price runs. Uh, they generally always come out with results that the market likes. Um, and then you would generally enter Is that good of, investor relations, rather? <laughs> very well managed so that it rallies as no, the results come out? No doubt they've got the best management team around. Um, and I think they've proven themselves. Just to touch on the Australian point, um, that was, a, that, that was a, a business that they got a lot of criticism for. Exactly, uh, I was going to say. Market thought they overpaid for it. Uh, that business is almost making as much as what South Africa makes now. I just certainly will do in the next couple of years. Um, so I think they've proved themselves over and over again. Um, so yes, it's uh, at 113 Rand, probably looking a little bit full at this stage. Um, I don't know if we would dive boots and all, but for a longer term portfolio, absolutely. I think um, they certainly, uh, the PE will come down. If you look at them relative to their offshore, uh, offshore competitors or, or uh, the companies that are most like them on the offshore basis, they, they trade around a 16, 17 times PE. So on forward earnings, we see Aspen on, on a forward PE of about 16 times, which I think is close to fair value. Let's pick up on that comment. Sigma doing better than the mm. local business. Mm. Is the local business going to turn around? The problem with the local business is that its margins have been determined by the RAND because they buy the active pharmaceutical ingredients and then they manufacture stuff. And we know that pharmaceuticals of this country are price controlled and the South African government, despite saying that it liked the pharma sector, has been most unhelpful by constantly sitting on the prices and not giving the required increases. What about manufacturing locally? Well, that's the strength of theirs. And, you know, again, instead of just bringing stuff in from India, they went to great lengths with big capex in Cape Town, PE and East London, where their plants are to get, you know, FDA approval and all of that. So they've really gone the nine yards and done everything that you'd want a globally coherent company to do. They also, remember, bought and merged the GlaxoSmithKline South Africa business, which is how Glaxo got that stake that they have in the uh, Aspen operation. And I think that's been good because they've then picked up all that portfolio of stuff. So I don't know. I think they are about as good as they can be in South Africa. But it is one of my concerns that I think does need to be put on the table is that healthcare, while it's a fantastic growth industry, is subject to, unfortunately, quite a lot of government intervention. And that's the, the nail on the head, regulation. Do we need to be concerned? Do you think that we're going to see them diversify further offshore just because it's so difficult to operate in South Africa? Yeah, possibly with the Aspen's case, absolutely. I think they will diversify uh, further off offshore. Their, their JV with uh, GlaxoSmithKline obviously uh, leads them to a lot of new markets. Um, on the local side, yes, the, the, it is tough. Um, the Medical Control Council obviously um, taking a lot longer to, to get products through. Um, but that also creates a barrier to entry. Um, so it's not necessarily all negative. Um, the guys that are already there are going to continue to perform well in that area. 113 Rand, hot or not? Long-term hot, definitely. 
Am I allowed to put in that long term now? <laughs> you guys come up with variants all the time. All right, long term hot definitely. What have you got from hot our resident experts? Hot all seasons. I'm happy to buy these at these and current levels. Hot. So it's all go for Aspen.